Meanwhile, a turbulent weekend to cap a chaotic week for Iran. A second day of protests erupted across Iran on Sunday after its government admitted the previous day that it had mistakenly shot down a Ukrainian airliner. The British ambassador to Iran was also arrested after attending a vigil for the victims of that plane crash, although released a few hours later. Our Isinje has more details. The group of protesters outside a university in Tehran could be heard chanting, they're lying that our enemy is America, our enemy is right here. The angry gathering was just one part of a nationwide demonstration that erupted for a second straight day in Iran on Sunday, as Iranians continue to raise the stakes on their under fire leadership. Their fury stems from the Iranian military admitting early Saturday that it had mistakenly shot down a Ukrainian passenger plane killing all 176 people on board. Iran's Revolutionary Guard said it accepted full responsibility for the downing. The head of the Aerospace Division said the plane was mistaken for a U.S. cruise missile at a time when Iran's air defenses were on high alert. Iran's foreign minister said it was human error caused by what he called U.S. adventurism. However, it seems the protesters weren't buying their leader's excuses and are furious that the plane was shot down, even unintentionally, and that the government lied about it for days. Adding to the turmoil, Britain's ambassador to Iran, Rob McCair, was arrested shortly after attending a vigil for the victims of the plane crash, only to be released after three hours. The semi-official Tasnim News Agency, which is affiliated with Iran's Revolutionary Guard, claimed the ambassador was in the midst of the rally, accusing him of trying to organize, instigate, and direct some radical and destructive actions. U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter on Sunday and warned Iran against killing protesters who are taking a stand against the regime. He added the U.S. is watching the situation and the Iranian government should stop preventing the media reporting the truth. While the U.S. drone killing Iran's top military official in Baghdad earlier this month sparked a wave of anti-American protests, the plane crash prompted some of the protesters over the weekend to tear up pictures of the slain general. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.